Hello everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with the Civil War mod. So, last time around I played this, I played as the Union, so this time we're going to play as the Confederates. But not only that, I've gone ahead and enabled the sub-mod options, so we should have a lot bigger variety of troops. Also, the troops are region-specific, so I can only recruit... Uh, Louisiana troops in Louisiana, Virginian troops in Virginia, and so forth. Um, and Texan troops in Texas. Um, and uh, set it to long campaign, don't think that matters really, because we're going to play as long as we want to play. Um, and uh, we see the campaign and battle difficulty. This is obviously going to give the AI quite a bit of advantage of me with tons of gold and stuff and the only problem I've seen so far in my test place in is the fact that they're gonna build forts everywhere and well the small fort it doesn't matter that much the big one I think does matter so that's gonna be possibly a problem um, maybe there's a sub option actually to remove the forts. Well, I think the forts are cool, but I would rather not have the large fort, just the normal forts. Those are enough. Gameplay options, show CPU moves, battle limit. I don't think, for some reason here, I can't select unlimited. I don't know if that's a feature of Empire or the mod, or maybe I can go ahead and se select that, change that once I'm actually in the game. Um, so there's a number of different, you can play as a number of other different nations, uh, not all of them work though, but I have tested out playing as the Republic of Mexico and that does work, uh, however we're not going to play as the Mexicans, I don't know how to get to the British, um, I guess maybe you have to uh, start the mod as the US, because that's how this mod works. You get a launcher, and in the launcher you choose either the Confederates or the Union, and depending on what you choose, you can play as that uh, nation in the campaign. There's also, uh, you know what, before we go ahead and start, I just want to show, um, play battle, you can actually play a few sieges here. And I had some interesting uh, tests here, this frontier outpost is kind of a cool thing. Fort of Texas, you could possibly do an Alamo here. Um, the problem is that with this one, um, the Mexican army that is... There's three Mexican, different Mexican armies. There's the Republican, the Imperial, and then there's the 1846. And the 1846, 1846 is the one closest to the one that would be at Alamo, because Alamo happened in 1836, I want to say. Um... So, but it's for some reason I think it crashes from there. I actually tried to play this a few times, thinking, you know what, I could do a replay battle and show you that. The thing is, the AI is incredibly stupid, so I think instead, um, I, what I really need to do is set up, like, a uh, Discord session, like, this time a week, um, one day at a week, we would get together, i would set which mod to play, and we would play some battles and then I could use those replays to actually uh, make some videos out of that. Because playing as the AI, playing against the AI is, well the AI is really stupid most of the time. So it's kind of hard to uh, get anything good out of that. Uh, also some interesting uh, battles they've added on uh, with the sub mod. Um, so you can get um, a lot of... Um, interesting civil war battles you could possibly do. Uh, with that said, let's go back to the campaign and let's start it. One of the things here with that campaign, which I maybe should say, is that... Uh, you know what? Let's jump into it and take a look. Oh, let's switch to long and boom. And there we are on the campaign. So one of the problems here is... Well, it's one of the good thing and one of the kind of problems is 
that we're going to have to build a lot of these stuff on our own, so it's kind of a clean slate, which is in one sense really good, but in one sense it's kind of bad, because that means there's a very heavy process here in the beginning of setting up and the uh, troop recruitments and so forth, and that means there's going to be an entire video just dedicated to that. And so I think we're going to skip through a lot of that but I'm going to summarize it and hopefully I'll be able to uh, go quickly enough through this that we can get to the war so we can actually have a battle and we can start off from there. I think the first thing we need to do though is set up some trade. Um, so we're gonna start off, we're not gonna trade with um, the um, the Amer I was about to say the Americans, the Yankees. We're going to start off with the British. They probably like us. Uh, she wants our cotton and our cotton she shall have. France, Napoleon III. Yes, he wants our cotton as well. Um, Netherlands, do you want our trade? They want military alliance. And they want me to pay. I'm not going to pay anyone here in the beginning because I need this money to set up everything. Um, Mexicans, we're gonna trade with the Mexicans even though as Trump says Mexico never sends its best. Um, how about this confederation or whatever? Right, they want money. Uh, who have I not? Haiti! Haiti! With President F Fabre Gifrard. How about trade? Okay, alliance. So there's a lot of these weird people that want alliance. Did I test that? The, 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 yeah, the Netherlands wanted um, an alliance. So we're not gonna bother with them now. Um, technology, 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 technology does not come from um, come from. It's you don't do technology basically. Uh, one thing that I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna turn this one to rubble and then instead. We're going to build, let's see, St. Mark's, uh, can I maybe show you this? So we're going to build this instead, which is, uh, I guess, a telegraph office, which spreads secessionist influence, because instead of religion, we have either support of secession or support of the union. So if you go into a province like Florida, and you click here, we can see that 90% is in favor of secession, while 10% is for the Union. And if we go to a Union province, we will see a similar statistic there. Um, but in some other provinces, like the two provinces that I have on my victory conditions to take, Kentucky and Missouri, if we go in and look there, there's actually quite a high percentage that want to succeed. In this province, it's 30 and in Kentucky it's 44, so almost half. Um, with that said, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and build up some buildings here and there and go ahead and end turn and we'll see where we go from there. But I will tell you that um, basically we're going to focus on this side, so Richmond um, Tennis Nashville, I should say, because I said the town rather than province. So Virginia, Tennessee, Mississippi is going to be the main uh, areas of recruitment and we're going to put a lot of effort on this side. Not so much over here because I'm not expecting the enemy to come down here. And uh, we're going to have to set up, um, we're going to have to increase cotton, uh, tr uh, cotton production and also the other spices and stuff that is needed. They've got some extra ones here. Munitions. It says ivory, but I guess it's supposed to be steel. But I guess they never got that far when making the mod textiles and uh, armaments and stuff. Because as we can see later, if we go into trade, we uh, I noticed that they turn up something that looks like revolvers. Anyways, I'm gonna start building and I'll get back to you once I'm done. 
Right, so I've done my building, and for now I haven't actually recruited any troops. I've just made sure that, that all like uh, province capitals have been built. We're building barracks and so forth all across the place, building up all the areas which didn't have anything to start off with. So we actually get some production out of those because not only are they pretty cheap to build up, um, it's pretty um, stupid not to have. Um, anything built in those regions um, right now what I did to not cause an overproduction of cotton um, I did two cotton for every two cotton I made one tobacco um, so every so if I made three farms build three farms the third one's tobacco the other two are cotton let's go ahead and end turn and see what happens so it goes through rather quickly oh so let's see Abraham Lincoln comes with an offer, trade agreement, and he wants to give, he wants me to give up North and South Carolina in exchange for 50,000, which is his entire starting capital. Um, I don't know why he does this, but I'm gonna keep on to my Carolinas, damn you, Lincoln. Damn you eyes! Go back to the woods, you stupid monkey looking fellow! Right, so one of the big things about this mod is they've got this running chronicle that turns up. Uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and read through all of this, but if you're interested in the history um, um, while, while playing this mod, you can go ahead and read a lot of stuff here. Um, I haven't actually gone ahead and uh, read through it, um, but um, thinking that it's uh, done by Civil War in two... In two blah, people who like the Civil War. Uh, I failed that word. Um, so hopefully it's quite correct information uh, in time period and so forth. So uh, I've gone ahead and built all that I want to build. And I completely ran out of money building up all the everything I wanted. Now what we need to do is recruit troops. So I'm thinking kind of an historical setting of where we're going to place the, the generals. Um, so I don't know, but I think we'll start with the best of the best. Um, Robert E. Lee. So we're going to put Robert E. Lee in um, the eastern, wait, western. No, Eastern Theatre or War. And then we're going to put another General T. Beauregard, which I think fought in this here. Um, not going to spend too much on General because they're pretty expensive. But we're going to put another General out here. And I don't know if they what they had out here. But what I'm thinking is just because we're probably going to have a lot of cavalry to traverse these big distances we're gonna put Stuart out here which I think yeah Stuart, Stuart and he's gonna have the fifth Texan Lancers and he's gonna have some Dragoons I think is best there's one Dragoon there and in this provinces we're gonna need some troops to defend we're gonna have six pounders and six pounders and some state militia now i've spent quite a lot of this on this region we need to spend more over here so the howitzers are really deadly i think there's one specific though to r the richmond howitzers yes we're gonna get those confederate palem's horse artillery not inclined to get them right now what we're gonna get instead is we're gonna get some Virginian troops. So we got Confederate Maryland volunteers, but I think the best we can do is the 33rd, so we'll get the 33rd. I still have 4,000, which means that I can spend some extra here. We're gonna put one Confederate militia and a six pounder. And over here to aid Beauregard. I don't actually have any proper troops here. So I guess we have to go down to New Orleans. And get some Suaves, shall we? Uh, the Wheat Tigers. Uh, I'm gonna get more cash though, so we'll we'll pile on more, 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 and more troops, and we can get 
there's a lot of different types of troops. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and end turn before we actually end turn. Well, one thing that I forgot to check. Oh, the tax is set to really, really low. Total tax income from taxes is absolute shit. Where am I getting all my money from? Uh, let's see. Trade. I'm getting 6,000 from there, but national summary says that I'm getting... Oh, others. So, 12,000. I should have checked this in the beginning. So we get 12,000 as what we always have. And then 6,000 is trade. So trade is going to be very important because this is the big marker of how we going to get cash. I mean, farm income or like the standard tax is absolutely useless, it seems. So not focus a lot on that. And our built up a log is governor's residence. They give tax bonuses, but the the best thing or the proper thing with these, or like the good thing to build these, is repression. Because if we look at this, a lot of these provinces are yellow. Not very happy. Ministers, I think we'll keep them as it is. We keep the cabinet as it is. I actually tried in uh, my test to kick one out. We got one rather strange fellow that did not look like he fit in here. It was a standard M Empire Total War cabinet member, so that didn't work. Uh, popularity is not that great. We got <laughs> Jefferson Davis right there. Looks more like something else. Some other Jefferson. With that said, let's go ahead and turn though. United States want trade agreement and they're willing to offer me 7,100. This is actually um, one thing that um, that uh, what, what am I saying? One thing that um, happened in the uh, in the test was that a similar thing happened, where the United States actually uh, gave me I think it was close to eighteen thousand for trade agreement. So 7,100 is not that great. But let's go ahead and accept it. Because why not? Giving me free cash. The South secedes. So we've got secessionist movements uh, moving along. So it details when the states left and so forth. But I don't think we've actually left as of yet. Someone gained a mistress. And we actually have some troops in Upper Texas, New Mexico, and Tennessee. Uh, I've got some more cash, and that means uh, recruiting more troops. Now, we don't have any slots here, so I'm going to keep it at just the uh, what the, the slots I've given. And uh, keep it at that. Uh, what am I going to get here? This is that South and North Carolina. So... These are quite expensive. This one, not so much. The volunteers. We can get two South Carolina volunteers. What do we have here? Can we get some volunteers? Georgian volunteers. Two Georgian volunteers. Florida volunteers. Florida independent blue skirmishes. Alabama volunteers. We'll get two Alabama volunteers. And Florida cavalry. And if we go over here, we've got some wolves. We're gonna get some more. So we're gonna get some Louisiana Confederate volunteers. Nothing good here yet. So what we'll recruit is howitzers. We've got some mountain guns. Can I build a 24 pounder here? Because 24 pounder is probably, yeah, it's very heavy gun and it's probably needed up there. So, and I probably don't have that many. I can recruit two, which means we're gonna put one up there and we're gonna have 12 pounders down here. So he's gonna recruit that. Over here we're gonna get some more state line. Uh, out here we're gonna get some more of that. Oh yes, one thing that I have forgot is building um, railroads. But I think we'll keep building 
infantry units this turn. And what I'll do is I'll build um, I'll build uh, railroads the next turn. I have actually built all the troops that I kind of need. We can pl put someone down here. Some state militia. Oh, you know what? Uh, there's a there's a limit on them. So I I don't think Mexico is going to invade us. So it doesn't matter that much. Um, let's see infrastructure. So we actually have good railroads up here. We actually got railroads here. But I guess what we'll need to do is drag railroads through. What we need is those provinces on the front line. They're going to need heavy movement. Right now I'm recruiting a lot of troops that I intend to send up here. So I guess we build that there. And also, since trade is going to be important, it's going to be very important to have good ports. Um, also, this mod actually allows you to recruit troops, I mean uh, navies, so we're going to see about getting some navies as well. And at this point, let's see if people don't want to trade with me. Okay, you're stupid. Uh, Haiti, do you want to trade this time around? Uh, military alliance, and they want me to give up a province. Um, and Mexico. How about trade? And they accept Netherlands. They want me to give up the region of Chihuahua for some reason. Which, I d wait, I don't think even think that's mine. That's actually Mexican province. Um, so we increased trade income. So uh, I think we were about 20,000 to start off with. And we're at now at 21. So even though I'm recruiting troops and stuff. We've actually increased in the amount of money that we're making. With that said, let's go ahead and end turn once more. And we've got some British troops. It would have been interesting to play as the British. But I think, having done one campaign before as the Union, it would be strange to then jump over and do the, the uh, what's they called, the British. Uh, right, railroads. We built some more railroads. It is expensive though, so we'll keep it now at just a few provinces because I'm probably going to need some more troops. Where have we built troops? Western Texas, we've built some cavalry so we can add some more dragoons there. Um, Upper Texas. I think. This plus the cannon will be enough for them for now. Louisiana here, however, we're gonna need because here is where we most likely gonna meet heavy resistance from the enemy. New Mexico, yeah, we're not gonna build any troops in New Mexico and in Tennessee. Tennessee, however, Tennessee is gonna need troops. Uh, as the Union is now even building troops across the, uh, just across the border, we're gonna build the telegraph office. I'm gonna see if I can build more telegraph offices. Would be nice to have a few more, especially on the front line towards our enemy. Um, let's go ahead and take a look in. Actually, connect all of these provinces. So now we connected. Um, actually, I'll have to connect it through here. Through there, uh, so it goes. To tr 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 so now, what we're missing is this province um, to get railroad there. I mean, it. You can see a train going there, but according to the infrastructure, there's actually nothing there. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and end one more. You know what? Let's see if they want to trade. Let's see if you're not stupid. Netherlands. You surely you want to trade now. No, still military alliance and stuff. Anyone declared war on anyone? Um, Mexico is allied with the confederation of something. Haiti does nothing. No trade or anything. Uh, Mexico is allied with the, the Bolivian Republic of Venezuela. France is trade partner with me in Spain. Wait, Great Britain? 
Is it war with the United States of America? What is this? When I then uh, I did not see this. So United States is at war with Great Britain at this point. Which is uh huh. Interesting. Let's go ahead and enter. So what happened last time around, uh, I played this, was they didn't declare war on them, but what the um, what the Union actually did was, yeah, so next turn after this, they'll actually give DC to Colombia and ally with them for some reason, because the US is... The Union is stupid. Oh, I've got a lot of troops recruited this time around. And a lot of stuff being built. Which should increase my coffers even further. Tax income has doubled. We increased uh, trade by 3,000. Um, so we're keeping a, a, le a good level with the amount of troops we're recruiting. We're going to need more troops here on the front line, so how about some Richmond Suaves and some Virginia Line Infantry. Then down here, um, what have I recruited? South Carolina Volunteers. How about some Charleston Suaves? And... Let's see. I can have one more 12-pounder. How would sir? So, if we send that one over here, we'll put one there, and can I have more uh, volunteer infantry? And then down here, we can have some uh, Thomas Will Zawabs, Confederate Clint, uh, Georgia Volunteers. Let's uh, so have two Georgia Volunteers, so we already have two. Florida. Alabama Cavalry. We're gonna have to push. Let's have these march up here. And hopefully at this point I can actually recruit. Uh, I guess the cannons are ready. And yes, now I can recruit troops here. Um, so I can recruit Alabama troops. And I'm Mississippi Volunteers. So we're in Mississippi, so get some volunteers. And they're gonna be joined by the Louisianans. Um, I'm gonna need a general out here, so we're gonna recruit another general, and that is going to be... how about Jackson? I love Jackson, so we're gonna put Jackson over there. Jackson, and then I'm gonna march... we're gonna march the Florida troops to link up with these, and then the Georgians... Huh. Um, I might need troop a lot of troops up here. So, South Carolinans go north. If I send these guys, then the uh, Georgians go north as well. And then what's going on over here? Maybe put this one on the back burner for now. And not have any... You know what? Horse artillery. Horse artillery. Two units of... That's a bit expensive. One horse artillery unit. So then we can send them across. Um, this should be fine. We've got a lot of troops here. I'm worried about here. So can I recruit more? We've got more coming. Um, Georgia volunteers. More Georgia volunteers. And let's go ahead and enter. Union troops, British troops, we built this Lincoln inauguration. So far I haven't seen anything going like war. West Texas got Stuart and Beauregard in Mississippi and Robert E. Lee in Virginia. So we're four turns in and everything's hunky door. we got uh, Richmond Howitzers, we got 33rd and Robert E. Lee to command the Virginia forces. More Virginia volunteers. Uh, I can take some state militia. I can have um, 
Confederate Virginia Military Institute cadets can have one of those. You know what? Let's have one of those. And here comes the South Carolinans to join in. And here comes the Georgians to join in. And the Floridans and the Mississippi. I mean the Louisianans. So it looks good all around. Um, oh, I can recruit more cavalry and stuff over here. Um, oh, now I get Texan troops. Texan skirmishers, Texan volunteers. We're going to get some Texan volunteers to join in with this army. Over on this one, we're going to have some more. One more Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippis, three Mississippis. And so forth. Uh, more Louisiana and uh, Mississippi volunteers. We're gonna get some of these special units. Maybe some Arkansas, maybe some Alabamans. No, let's have the skirmish units. Let's see, where were they? There, special unit. I can only have one. And since it is Louisiana, let's get Louisiana troops. Okay, so we're out of Louisiana troops. Then we'll add on to Mississippi. And, oh yeah, uh, infrastructure. So get railroad there. And I think get railroad here. And that's very nice. Right, let's go ahead and end turn. When does the war actually start? The Union is pushing troops very close to the border. Attack on Fort Sumter! The President plans to send supplies to the Union held Fort Sumter in Charleston Harbor. Um, uh, he alerts the Confederate authorities in advance, South Carolina, however, fears this to be a trick to supply the fort with ammunition. And on the 10th of April, uh, the surrender of the fort is demanded by Confederate military authorities in Charleston, the garrison commander refuses, and the Union calls to arm. Right. We have war, more or less. Uh, a lot of the... Uh, so we got one, two, three, four. Yeah, cotton, one tobacco. Which is not what I told you guys, but hey, that's what we got. Um, the price has actually changed in favor of tobacco 25 but that's probably overproduction on my part um, so we got a little army here we got a little army here what do they have Maryland volunteers Vindat cavalry first cavalry regiment six pounder gun and cavalry rush lances uh, yes one thing here I want to start to build some ships and also I want to upgrade one more port we actually have got our biggest army under the command of Beauregard I also have a plan of possibly building forts they cost a lot though so I think with the fort uh, with the attack on Fort Sumner uh, there's nothing to it we need to attack or we need to go to war we got more Georgian volunteers, and right now they. You know what? We're gonna send the rest of the Georgians over here. We're gonna send these guys. We're gonna send the cannon over there, but we're gonna send the troops up north. And uh, the thing is, the video has already dragged on for so long that unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to leave you guys on a cliffhanger here. So next time around. There's uh, a long possibility in attacks all over the place to make sure that we get a head start against the Union. But with this said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!